20 years old. Uh, Tom, as, as you've heard a few times today, you're the first player since Tiger Woods in 1996 to win twice on the PGA Tour before turning 21. What comes to your mind when you hear those words? It's, it's really amazing. Uh, a few months ago, I, I didn't have any status in the U.S., and now being a two-time winner on tour, having that place you know, with Tiger is... It's an unbelievable feeling for me. It's it's an honor for me, and it's definitely a dream come true. What what's this la- last few months been like for you? Uh, like you said, didn't have any status uh, late in the season last year, and you're able to join the tour, win, play in the FedEx Cup playoffs, play in the Presidents Cup, and now win for the second time. Could you just describe these last few months? It's been crazy. Um, it's been really fast definitely doesn't feel slow that's for sure and um you know coming off you know a win playoffs the president's cup you know and a, and a win this week is i mean it's absolutely amazing but um you know i just got to keep going and you know i'm enjoying the ride so hopefully many more to come and last question for me before we take some out here uh what did it mean to you to have uh sung j sh and kh lee uh, out there to to see you it was it's amazing you know they're they're my big brothers and you know for them to wait on the 18th grief for me is you know i'm i'm really grateful for that so you know i was um it's special for me to be able to, for them to be there all right we'll take some questions out here if you have a question we will get a microphone to you uh, i think we're going to start up here in the front with greg on the right congratulations tom thank you um, can you explain how, since you had never played this course before Thursday morning, how you play 72 holes without making a bogey? It's amazing. I mean, with the way I was, I started the week, you know, I had a really bad cough. And, you know, I was only, because of the way my body felt, I had to take, I had to play nine holes and nine holes. And, um, but I felt like being, playing nine holes, nine holes, with limited time, I had to really get my work in, and I felt like the course really, it really suited me well. I, it came to my eye, and I felt like, you know, I, if I just strategized my course around it here, around the course here, I could, I could have a good week, and that's exactly what I did. And then as far as the round today, th- there were other players lurking, but it was basically match play between you and Patrick at some point. Did you feel that way, that at some point it was down to the two of you? I mean, I just have to really focus on my own game, and I feel like the experience from the Presidents Cup, um, like you said, it could have been match play, but I didn't really think of that way because really, on this golf course, there's a lot of low scores, and you know anyone, you know anyone who plays well will have a chance. You know, some just shot, you know, nine under I think last year to win and come back and win by a lot. So I just told myself, just I got a game plan, whether I win or not, as long as I execute my shots and do what I need to do. You know, that's all I focused on, and I'm just grateful to be on top. And then just one last one. Um, you had talked earlier in the week how you feel like your life hasn't changed. Everyone else is telling you that you're this rock star and superstar, but you feel like you're the same person. Of does course. That, does that? 100%. I mean. Does that change at all with this second win? No, it hasn't. Absolutely not. You know, I still got a long way to go, and, you know, I want to hopefully I have a long career on the PGA Tour, and, you know, I got a lot, lot of work to do. You know, there's a lot of guys that I, I still need to get better at um, golf. And, you know, there's a lot of guys out here who has a lot more success than me. So I got to learn and I got to, I got to keep playing better. Go to Ben in front. Mate, twice on that back nine, you set up two shot lead and twice he came back at you and tied it up. Um, just talk about, I guess, the, the pressure that that was putting you under and, and the feelings you had going through that back nine. When you have a two-shot lead and you have a guy like Patrick coming at you, no lead is safe. So, you know, I just told myself, well, we have a game plan. You know, I, you know, I was really grateful for that Joe was beside me uh, with the experience that he has. And, you know, he really got me, helped me through, uh, you know, helped me through this week. And um, I just stayed really patient. You know, I played my game plan. And, you know, I just got really lucky on the final hole. You know, Patrick has played so good this week. And, you know, um, you know I just... I got really fortunate, so, um, yeah. And if you could take us through, I guess, your thoughts when you saw his ball head towards the desert there. Um, I, I know you were probably expecting it to even go maybe extra holes, but then all of a sudden um, it was there right in front of you. 
like I said, you know, I just I played my own game plan. Whether whoever whoever made birdie or not, it just I had to hit good shots, and um, I just stuck. Like I said, I have a game plan, and we stuck to it. And you know, I just I was just hoping I could execute myself. Other questions, Brian? So I'm not sure you know, but Tiger's first win was in Vegas, and he made the comment. I think it was the seventh or eighth tournament. He was surprised it took so long. What was your mindset coming on to the PGA Tour and your expectations? Um, my expectations was just, you know, to be out here and um, just hopefully I can win. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, I've been very fortunate and it's, um, I'm just, yeah, like I said, just I'm really fortunate and hopefully I have a lot more in the bag. And how will you stay motivated with all this success? What will you do to, to keep winning just like Tiger did? I got, you know, I got, a lot, I got lots of work to do on my game. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, you know, there's some weaknesses that I need to get better at. Um, and I need to keep the strengths that I have. And, you know, it's, hopefully I can have a long career. And, you know, I got to work really hard. I can't get set aside at all. And, you know, I just got to keep playing better because there's a lot of guys who work really hard and, uh, who have achieved a lot, even a lot more than me. You know, I, I'm not even close to, you know, Tiger. So Tiger, whether it's Tiger, Rory, Justin, you know, Jordan, those guys, you know, that, you know I, I still got a long way to go, so I just got to keep working hard. Ben? What did your Korean big brothers say to you um, on the green there? They're just saying congratulations. Um, you know, you did a really good job, and it's, it's amazing. So... For them to just, you know, with the busy schedules that everyone has, for them to stay there for, for me is, you know, I'm really grateful for that. Uh, Dave, get the microphone over to him. Tom, you said that you were hoping to keep your card and play out here. Have you now gone to expecting to win and now if your role kind of changed of hoping to expecting? No, I... You know. Golf, golf on the PGA Tour is it's really hard. You know, it's really hard to win tournaments. And, you know, I think everything in life, you can't expect everything. You know, I just got to keep working hard on my game and just being, you know, I, I'm very fortunate to win twice on tour and to be even out here. So I think the mindset is for me is just I just got to keep working hard and um, be grateful for what things come along. And then are you, I, you're 20, but is it a little tiring? I mean, winning uh, Wyndham playing in the uh, FedEx Presence Cup here. I, I think you might be jumping on a flight tonight. Like, I mean, are you t tired, or is it just because you're 20 that you're good? I mean, I, I'm playing on the PGA Tour as a 20-year-old. It, it's hard to get tired from this. You know, it's, I'm, I'm a 5-year-old in Disneyland for sure. You know, that's the way I would pronounce it. All right, we can take one more question here from Ben in the front. You, you kind of skirted around this, but... You're going to have to reset your goals, you know, for higher things in the, in the near term. Um, what do you think those will be? Uh, I mean, obviously, people are already talking about you as a potential world number one. People are already talking about you, um, you know, as a FedEx Cup winner, major winner. What is it that you'll set your sights on? I mean, I think goals really stay within the team, but, you know, it, it'd be amazing to do those things. But, you know, like I said, I've still got a long way to go. You know, I'm 20 years old. Um, you know, I still got a lot to learn from these guys, and uh, I just got to keep, just keep working on my game, and hopefully, you know, there, there's a lot of good things along the way, but, you know, I just got to keep working hard and uh, keep my head down and keep working.